Doctors performing brain surgery on a 26-year-old woman in Tel Aviv. It's a complicated procedure since it is being done without ever having to touch the skull. And doctors have come from the former Soviet Union to learn what it's all about. Strokes and other cerebral hemorrhaging incidents are on their way to becoming the number one cause of death worldwide. Doctors in Israel, France, Turkey, and the United States have been perfecting delicate endovascular neurosurgery procedures for the past decade. But these procedures are only now reaching the rest of the world. And we start to do a lot of cases since one year and uh, now uh, we can do uh, ourselves simple cases and if it's uh, the uh, difficult cases we cooperate with Dr. Maimon and um, made operations together. Renowned Israeli endovascular neurosurgeon Professor Shimon Maimon has teamed up with his American colleague Dr. Alex Berenstein to participate in a training conference to help spread this new, less invasive technique. I can give you 25 hours of uh, lectures, but one word cannot match one picture of the ability to actually see real-life demonstrations. In the operating room at Tel Aviv Zicholov Hospital is a young woman who suffers from a birth defect that could cause a fatal stroke. On the screen is a radiological roadmap of the brain's major arteries. And what we're going to try to do is to go and navigate without opening the head. Go from the blood vessel of the leg, one of the branches of the tree, into the main trunk of the tree, the aorta, into the blood vessels of the brain. And then a liquid material, which is like silly putty, is injected very slowly and is permitted to harden to create a cast of this bizarre amorphous piece of anatomy. Professor Maimon pushes the guide wire from the femoral artery in the leg deep inside the young woman's brain. He is hunting for an arteriovenous malformation, or AVM. This short circuit of the brain could rupture and cause cerebral hemorrhaging. Once they find it, the doctors inject a newly developed, non-adhesive, silly putty-like glue called onyx to seal the vessel. These doctors may have read about it in textbooks or heard it in lectures. But actually seeing and learning here in Tel Aviv new cutting-edge procedures may be the difference between open brain surgery and new innovative cures. We learned a lot. We'll come back to Russia more educated. Now we can uh, give our uh, colleagues their uh, basic knowledge of endovascular procedures. Here today was presentation how we can, with less money, provide better care. We want to also excite them about it. Uh, physicians, for the most part, are, are people that are very passionate about what they do. So uh, there's no better way than see how you cure somebody uh, in front of your eyes. From the operating room in Ikhalov Hospital, this is Felice Fritzen reporting for the Media Line.